Bonjour, mes amis. Je m'appelle Henri. Parlez-vous français? Non? Hmm. oui, ou Harry te dire? Ich bin Scharkemreich? Na? <coughs> my name is Henry Tudor. Or at least my name was Henry Tudor. 500 years ago, before I got the title King Henry the Seventh, or to give you my title in full, Henry, by the grace of God, King of England, France, and Lord of Ireland. That's a good title, hmm? Now then, a little bit about myself. Now, when I ask people, what do you know about Henry the Seventh? They normally say, ah, he came before Henry the Eighth. Well, of course I came before Henry VIII. Henry VIII was my son. I was his father. But more about me, Henry VII. I'll begin my story at the beginning. I was born in a castle. Pembroke Castle, which was a magnificent castle. Here is ma'am. Margaret Beaufort. Margaret Beaufort was 13 years old when she gave birth to me. 13. Uh, this is Dad, Edmund Tudor. Now, I was born during a war, a war of the roses, a war between two families in England, the Yorkist family and the Lancastrian family. Both families had a symbol. The Yorkist family, the white rose. The Lancastrian family, the red rose. War of the Roses. Now, I was part of the Lancastrian family, and we didn't much like the Yorkist family. They beheaded my grandfather, Owen Tudor, who came from Anglesey. <coughs> ah! <laughs> they also took my father away from us before I was born even and put him in jail in Carmarthen where he died of the Black Death. So I never got to see my father, but my father's brother, Uncle Jasper, lived with us and we had many happy years in Pembroke Castle. When I was born, there was a king on the throne from the Lancastrian family, Henry the Sixth, and we had many happy years with Henry the Sixth on the throne. But by the time I reached my fourth birthday, Edward the Fourth was the king, a Yorkist. I was the eldest son of the Lancastrian family. And Edward the Fourth thought I would want to be king when I grew up, and he didn't want that. So he took me from my home in Pembroke Castle and took me far away to a castle called Raglan. Castle, where a gentleman called William Herbert lived. Now, William Herbert taught me many things. He taught me how to read and write. He taught me how to fight with a sword. He taught me how to ride a horse. He also taught me one very important skill, which was how to behave like a gentleman and how to talk to the most beautiful ladies. Oh, oh, dearest lady, how wonderful you look today. Now, William Herbert was hoping that one day I might marry one of his daughters, but Unfortunately for William Herbert, in a battle one day against the Lancastrians, he was killed. 
This was very bad news for William Herbert, but excellent news for me, for I, at the age of 14, was now able to escape from Raglan Castle and make my way back to Pembroke Castle. I lived at home in Pembroke Castle for two years, but it was very dangerous for me to stay in Wales, and so Uncle Jasper and myself fled to France in a small boat. And da 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 It would have been very easy for people back home to forget about me being in France. And so my mother asked the poets to write poetry and sing songs about me. Poetry like this, which is in Welsh, obviously, as it would have been in that time. But that's okay, because I now speak Welsh, so I can translate as I go along. My pethai and the yara Cymru, things are rather black on the Welsh. A size car, son and Rioli, and there's a nasty Englishman ruling over us. On vidaur Mab de Rogan, the Mab de Rogan will come, the Mab de Rogan being the son of prophecy, a brave and strong leader. Irith hai Cymru Gavan to free all of Wales. A genu in Harur, vid Harry, and the name of our hero shall be Henry. That's me. I lived abroad for 14 years, and eventually, Edward the Fourth died, and along came another Yorkist king, Richard the Third. Richard the Third was a very nasty and unpopular king, even amongst his own family. It was the perfect opportunity for me to return to take the crown for myself so that I could be King of England. And so in the summer 1485 I and a small army returned to Wales and we landed in a place called Mill Bay near Dale in Pembrokeshire. We had a long march ahead of us all the way to Bosworth in North England. Along the way, I had to call with the noblemen of Wales to persuade them to lend me their men so that I could have a large army in order to defeat Richard III at Bosworth. Okay, onwards. <laughs> and here we are in Haverford West. Where I'm, where I see the, the nobleman and the noble lady. A oh, good day, a good sir and good lady. I am Henry Tudor. I have returned from France to fight against Richard III in Bosworth. Will you join with me? Are you the Mab de Rogan? They asked me. Am I? The Mab de Rogan, I answered. The son of prophecy? Uh, well, yes, indeed, I am that Mab de Rogan. Now, will you join with me? We will join with you, they said. Oh, excellent. Come with me to Bosworth. Onwards to Cardigan. <laughs> and here we are in Cardigan where I meet the noble man and lady of the castle. Oh, good day, good sir and good lady. I am Henry Tudor. I have returned from France to fight against Richard III in Bosworth. Will you join with me? Are you a Welshman? They ask me. Am I a Welshman? Well, of course I am a Welshman, for I carry Cadwallader's flag. Now, Cadwallader was the last king of Wales, and his symbol was the red dragon, and I put it on a background of green and white to make it look better. So, yes, I am a Welshman, and I have Welsh blood pumping through my veins because my grandfather, Owen Tudor, came from Anglesey, and thanks to William Herbert, I also speak Welsh. So, yes, I am definitely sure that I am Welsh. Will you join with me? We will 
Join with you, they said. Excellent! March with us to Bosworth. Onwards to Llanbadarn Vaur. <laughs> and here we are in Llanbadarn Vaur. A good day, noble man and noble lady. I am Henry Tudor. I have returned from France to fight against Richard III in Bosworth. Will you join with us? Certainly not, they said. <gasps> what? Not fight with me, but I am Henry Tudor. I am the Marb de Roggen and a Welshman. Will you not fight with me? If you lose, we will lose soldiers for no reason, they said. <gasps> for no reason? Well, you will pay for this, traitors. Onwards, onwards to Machanche. <laughs> and here we are in Machanche. Uh, good day, noble man and noble lady. I am Henry Tudor. I have returned from France to fight against Richard III in Bosworth. Will you join with us? I'm tired of all the fighting. How will you bring peace? They asked. How will I bring peace? Very good question. I promise that I will marry Elizabeth of York, and by marrying Elizabeth, I will join the two families and bring peace to the country. Now, will you join with us? We will join with you. Excellent. March with us to Bosworth. Onwards to Shrewsbury. And here we are in Shrewsbury. A good day, noble man and noble lady. I am Henry Tudor. I have returned from France to fight against Richard III in Bosworth. Will you join with us? Why should we? They asked. Why should you? Because I am Henry Tudor. I am the Marb de Rogan and I am a Welshman. And if you fight with me, I promise you that I will give you lots of cash. Now then, will you join with me? We will join with you, they said. Excellent. March with us now on this long march to Bosworth. Onwards to Bosworth! The day of the Battle of Bosworth dawned. Richard III had 12,000 soldiers. I had five, less than half. This was going to be no easy battle. But after meeting the prophet David Lloyd in a place called Mathavan, I knew that God was on my side. It was a long, hard battle. Many men lost their lives that day. But in the end, it came down to a battle between Richard and myself. And this was a long, hard fight. Eventually, I managed to hit Richard on the head. Richard fell to the floor. His crown fell to the floor. And there I killed him. I picked up the crown and crowned myself king. King Henry VII. And so I was king. Now is time to make good my promises. Time to make peace by marrying Elizabeth of York, joining the two families. 
And thus began a new era in history, a new golden era, the age of the Tudors.